Hello everyone. In this video, we will be introducing Robotic Process Automation (RPA). So this is the buzzword of the market right now, and it definitely has many uses. In this video, we will be doing a deep dive on basics of RPA. So this is what we will be discussing in this video. What is RPA? Why do we need RPA? General uses of RPA applications and RPA in ServiceNow. If you want to jump to any specific topic, the links are provided in the description box. First of all, introduction about me. I am Hardeep Singh. I have 12 plus years of IT experience and 8 plus years of service now experience. I am currently working as a technical manager in one of the IT consultant firms. Please connect with me on LinkedIn, YouTube, or Twitter. And if you have any questions. Please drop me an email or drop me a message here on any of the platforms. I will surely be getting back to you. Now, what is RPA? So there are multiple definitions which I have put up here. The first one is RPA is an emerging technology that automates repetitive and mundane tasks. It uses software robots or bots to imitate human actions. So basically, whatever a human being is doing. RPA is used to imitate those actions and do it in an automated way. That processes can be like data entry, customer service inquiries, financial transactions, and many more. By using RPA, companies can save a lot of time and money while increasing efficiency of their employees. Next is why do we need RPA? So as I discussed a few seconds earlier. it is used for end to end automations and it can be a combination of ui interactions elements based automations and apis that interact between various business applications and you can emulate user actions again also these software robots can do things faster consistently and they do not need a coffee break and finally what i feel is the primary benefit or primary use of rpa is where you cannot automate integrations so for example if you are setting up an integration with some legacy system which doesn't support rest api or soap api and you actually have to log in into that system and do your task this is where rpa comes in and they do it automatically everything also they can log in to vdis and maybe read your emails and maybe they can take action on your emails or they can also access the database and make certain actions as per defined in your workflow so these are the some general uses of rpa they can automate a report for example if you have to send a report every week on monday at 9 am they can do that they can just go in read the database you would have defined already a query and they will execute that query create a report in excel and send that to that person where you want to send it they also reduce the gap between different systems they make it easier to interact with different type of systems just by imitating how humans would do next is assurance of quality so once you have defined what the robot has to do in a process they will do it in the same way they won't be like humans that they can make an mistake once those workflows are defined they will do it in the same way then cross check information if you want to verify information through robots as well they can do that they can help in migration of data from one place to another for example from excel to a database they can also be used for forecasting revenues of an organization of a different business units and so on also they help you in virtual system integration these are few applications of rpa where you can use rpas for example in healthcare where the registration of patients can be automated and we can also maintain records of those patients for hr we can use rpa for automating the joining formalities of new employees or maybe processing of payrolls every month in telecom we can use for service order management or maybe quality reporting in insurance we can use for processing and clearance of claims 
providing premium information so there can be an example of this for example someone dropped an email about a plan which they want to inquire about and the RPA can automatically reply to that email with all the information of that plan or what are the premiums of that particular plan or the benefits in retail industries they can be used for maintaining bills of materials calculation of sales and finally we can use them also in travel and logistics where you can automate booking of tickets and maintaining passenger details so for example if you want to book through a website and you have a portal defined you can just input the name of the passenger and the details of that passenger and the tickets will automatically be booked by RPA next is RPA in service now so service now introduced RPA in San Diego release but it wasn't available for developers to use that only if the organization has procured the license they can use that but now what service now has done is they have made it available free of cost on personal developer instances or PDA from Utah release so if you want to use and explore RPAs you have to upgrade your PDIs to Utah or procure a new PDI in the Utah version and you should be able to use that in service now you can also automate use cases related to ITSM HR legal or any custom application you have built so it has various uses in service now application as well how can we install RPA on your personal developer instance I have created a video for this already if you want to go and check out that video the link is in the description and as well as on the top right corner next is RPA applications in service now so there are four applications which are provided by service now to use RPA the first one is RPA hub second is unattended robot third is attended robot and the final one is RPA desktop design studio I will give a gist about all these applications right now and then in further videos we will take a deep dive on all of them by developing use cases the first one is RPA hub so basically it's a kind of a dashboard on service now where you can create manage monitor all your workflows which have been defined in RPA RPA hub also provides some built-in robots or bots and templates where you can quickly start building your custom use cases or maybe use them for learning as well and on the right hand side you can see an image how does RPA hub actually look like I will just quickly take you to service now and I will show you how can you navigate to RPA hub I'm in service now and if you go to all type in RPA hub and you will get this module here and you just have to click on this and it will open the same page where I was so this is the RPA hub right now it doesn't have anything because I haven't built anything right now and we will start building it in the further videos next is unattended robots and as the name suggests you don't have to attend these robots they will execute your workflows what you have defined automatically so they don't require any human intervention next is attended robots and they are a bit opposite of the unattended robots so they require manual intervention and similarly they can do all the automations which are defined in the workflow but it just requires human intervention so somebody has to start that and review that and maybe and that it completely depends on how you have defined those workflows and finally we have RPA desktop design studio this is a low code IDE integrated development environment so that means you have to install this application separately on your windows and then you can use drag and drop to design your workflows of RPA right now it is only available in windows and not on the mac so maybe in future they will plan for the mac operating system but we have no idea on that but you can go ahead and download this design studio and start building your workflows i will show you in the next video how can we set up rpa on our personal developer instance if you have any questions please do let me know in comments thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video